क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज डिफरेंशियल एक्सट्रैक्शन मेथड सो व्हाट इज दिस मेथड एंड व्हाट इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस मेथड लेट अस टॉक अबाउट दिस इन दिस लेक्चर So friends, we know that is organic solvents are not very much miscible with that of the aqueous solution. So that is the reason that uh, the organic solvents like benzene and chloroform. So this are basically they are used in this method that is known as differential extraction method. Suppose if an organic compound, suppose it has been present in an aqueous solution, and suppose if we have added a benzene or suppose if we have added uh, chloroform, obviously the chloroform will not be soluble in the aqueous solution. but somewhere we need the organic compound to be uh, extracted from the aqueous solution so this is the method that we are going to talk about that is differential extraction method so what is the method and uh, how we do or how we apply this in industries so as to extract the organic compound from the aqueous solution that is what i am going to represent with the help of this diagram so now let us talk about this one so this method consists of basically a separatory funnel so this is known as separatory funnel as you could see over here and uh, this is something which is basically an aqueous solution in which basically the organic compound is been present as you could uh, see over here and this is the solvent layer and this solvent layer is nothing but the organic uh, solvent that could be benzene or that could be chloroform depending on that uh, we have to extract the organic compound in which solvent so depending on the organic solvent that could be benzene or that could be chloroform we can add in a specific proportion so what is the use of it let me talk about and let me also talk about what is the procedure that we do in this case this aqueous solution consists of the organic compound that is what we have to extract and uh, above which basically we know that the organic solvent is not soluble with that of the aqueous solution so obviously there will be forming a two layer as you could see over here so what we have to do is we have to shake the a uh, separatory funnel so this is a separatory funnel that we have and we have to shake it vigorously so in that instant or in that moment what happens is this organic solvent it captures the organic compound that has been present in the aqueous solution and that is how we could find that most of the organic compound that has been basically dissolved in the aqueous layer or it has been dissolved in the aqueous solution is now been captured in the organic solvent and that is how we can easily extract the organic compound from the aqueous solution so in this case the main thing that we have to mention is that is if the organic compound if that is soluble in the aqueous solution as well as in the organic solvent but it should be noted that the compound that we have to extract it should be very much soluble compared to that of uh, aqueous solution it, it would be very much soluble in the organic solvent so that is what the uh, separatory funnel that we will take and we will shake it vigorously and that is how basically most and maximum amount of uh, that is the organic compound could be easily extracted and that could be present in the organic solvent so this is the extraction process but we need the organic compound so what we have to do obviously as you could see over here there is a cork that has been present over here so we have to open this cork and we have to release the aqueous layer so now the only thing that will be left with us is basically the solvent layer which consists of the organic compound so as you could see over here that is the organic compound in the solvent layer that is been present over here and this is how basically the aqueous layer can be removed but we need the organic compound and this consists of the solvent as well as the organic compound so it is a very simple process that we have to do that is uh, since this organic solvent could be a volatile substance also so what we are doing is we are letting the volatile organic solvent to get evaporated and the rest of the thing is if the organic compound is basically non volatile it will be remained and uh, as a residue and we could also purify it so this is how basically we can separate or we can extract the organic compound from an aqueous solution through an organic solvent so this is what i want to talk about and this is also a very crucial method that are been applied in the industries as well as in the laboratory so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope you'll share this video with your friends so till then don't forget to subscribe ekra channel thank you so much